Hi, welcome back. You may recall in the Windows installation video that I mentioned you would need to copy a contactplayer2.dll file to a few locations on your computer to make sure that it will show up in Sibelius and Finale. And that's what we'll be covering in this video. So first I'll go to the Start menu, and then My Computer, and then go into our C drive here. And in Program Files, we're going to navigate to Native Instruments. And in Contact Player 2, we'll have a folder called D VST Plugins. And there we'll see three Contact Player 2s. We're just going to ignore the 8-out and 16-out files and focus on the regular Contact Player 2.dll. And we'll go ahead and right-click and come down and copy that. And we'll go back a couple levels until we're back to the Program Files folder. Now we're going to go to Sibelius Software. And in here, you'll see Sibelius 6, a VST Plugins folder. So go into there. And we'll right click and then paste. The contact player 2.dll file will now show up here. So now having that in this folder will enable it to show up in Sibelius. And that'll work whether you're in Sibelius 5 or 6. So now let's go back and do Finale. Finale is located in a different spot, so we'll go ahead and come back here to our C drive. And then go to Documents and Settings. And we're going to do this for all users. That way this change will be available to all users on the machine. Application Data folder. And there's a Make Music folder here. And in Finale 2011, we'll have this VST Support folder. So we'll need to go into there. Again, right click and then just paste. Now the contact player 2.dll file will show up in Finale. And at that point, you should be good to go. You may have noticed through the course of the video there were some on screen locations for Windows Vista or 7. So if you'll be running in one of those two operating systems, you'll just need to make sure you use those folder structures for copying and pasting these files. And obviously, if you're a Mac user, you didn't really need to watch this video, so this is just bonus material, I guess. Um, but at that point, we're done, so stick around. We'll see you in the next video.